I would like to read one of my favorite books. Does that sound good? I would love to hear one of your favorite books. All right, this is a book. Spoiler alert. I have a, a toddler daughter at home where I live because she's my daughter. Yeah. So she lives with us. This, this book is one of her favorites. This book is called Pete the Cat. This is kind of like the original Pete the Cat book that launched the Pete the Cat craze. There are many, okay. many... There's kind of like some knockoff Pete the Cat books, not to knock any Pete the Cat content. Uh, this, this I believe, is the original. Um, it says, Art by James Dean. Whoa. And then in parentheses, creator of Pete the Cat. So you can tell there was some like litigation. Oh, right, because there is a famous actor by the name of James Dean. Correct. It's like they really want to make sure that you know this is, this is not the James Dean. This is the creator of Pete the Cat. I also think there was some sort of dispute with the the writer because they break out like story is by uh, this gentleman but the art is by the creator of Pete the Cat. Okay. And if you'll notice future Pete the Cat books, future installments are solely by James Dean. Interesting. Okay. And you know what? They're not as good. So I just I think this really shows you need partnership, you need collaboration. Just because you are the creator and illustrator of Pete the Cat doesn't mean that you necessarily can write the nuts and bolts right, of a Right, yeah. Anyway, we're going to read this book. Gab has never heard this book before. I don't know. This is my first time. Just like you, this is my first time. And uh, we're going we're gonna to perform the song for you featuring Gab on Shaker when we get to it. When we get to the song, okay, because I don't know yet. All right, here we go. <clears throat> There's Pete the Cat. <clears throat> Pete the Cat. Art by James Dean, creator of Pete the Cat. Copyright litigation. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Ah. Pete's very happy. Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? It turned them red. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. <clears throat> I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. Oh no. Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did those turn his shoes? You're right, blue. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. <gasps> I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh no. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. <gasps> What color did it turn his shoes? Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. <gasps> I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. And I have to tell you, I started drinking coffee right around the time that we had my daughter. And this image, this inspired me. I'd be reading this book and I'd be like falling asleep. And I'd see that coffee and I'd think... People that drink coffee know what's up. <laughs> now we get to the moral. Oh no, Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? Well, they were white, but now they were very wet. Did Pete cry about having wet shoes? Goodness no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes, I love my wet shoes, I love my wet shoes. And there's squeak sound effects. Now, in case you haven't figured it out, the moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. I love that book. It's poetic, right? I've never heard it, and it's everything I love in the world. Like, don't, don't let something bring you down. Even, you know what I mean? You gotta keep going. I love that. It's a celebration of all colors, of all seasons, and more than anything, Pete the Cat keeps walking along and singing his song. Do you think that the song that we sang is what the author and James Dean, creator of Pete the Cat, were imagining? 
No, I think it's what Eric Litwin was imagining, but James Dean was furious with that interpretation. So you're Team Litwin. Oh, of course I'm Team Litwin. 